This is a disturbing story, and it all started with the click of a link. And now it's a case that has the attention of the FBI. This senior couple from Stickney, they tell me that they're speaking out to alert others like you all at home, and they are praying that they'll get at least some of their money back. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. We were at the finish line. Deacon Frank Mamalello says he knew something was wrong when he came home and saw his wife on her knees crying. She said, Cheech, they took all the money of our bank account. I said, how? His wife Margaret tells me she received an email on her phone from what she thought was an antivirus company thanking her for her recent purchase. I said, I did not order this for $400. I certainly want a refund. She says she clicked a link in the email, saw a phone number, and called the company to dispute what she believed was an inaccurate charge. Margaret says a representative agreed to issue a refund, but then he said he made an error, accidentally refunding her $40,000 instead of just $400. She says when she checked her bank account, there it was. There's 40000 It's in there. It's not mine. He needs it back. Margaret says the person over the phone instructed her to wire the $40,000 back to him and fast so he wouldn't get fired. Margaret says she went to her bank and wired the money as instructed. After that, I felt that was should be the end of it, but it wasn't. Margaret says the man called her back saying the wire didn't go through, so she wired him more money, and he says he didn't get that either, so she sent more. In the end, Margaret says she transferred more than $150,000. I was sick. I was, that's my nest egg. Her husband says when he learned about what happened, he called the bank and police right away. That's when he learned that his wife fell for a phishing scam. According to the FBI's latest Internet crimes report, phishing scams were at the top of their list with more than 300,000 victims and more than $52 million in losses. Cybersecurity expert David Barden says phishing attacks start with an email that appears to be from a legitimate business asking you to click a link. They're sending them phishing links. They're sending them files that are infected. They're doing a lot of malicious things to try to take advantage of Folks who frankly don't understand the technology. In Margaret's case, he says it's possible the fraudsters hacked her bank account, which allowed them to move money from her savings to her checking account to make it look like the company deposited $40,000, that so-called accidental refund. But in order to get the money into the alleged scammer's account, they needed Margaret to send the wires. We lost everything. The couple tells me they have since reported the case to the FBI, and they're praying that they'll get justice. But Deacon Frank admits his faith is waning. I don't know God's plan. I just wish he didn't give me this bridge to cross because it's testing my faith. It's testing my marriage. It's testing my faith in people. Now, the couple's bank said they tried to put a stop to the wires, but were unsuccessful in getting the money back. However, the couple did tell me that they recently got a letter from the FBI. This is big, informing them that the agency is investigating their case. We'll be sure to stay on top of that. Now, to avoid phishing scams, don't assume that an email that looks like it came from a business is real. When in doubt, go to the company's official website and find the contact number to get more information. And be careful before you click a link or open an attachment. And this is a big one. Never send any money to a stranger. I don't care what they try to tell you. Just don't do it. We have a lot more tips on our website, abc7chicago.com. Jaw dropping. Wow. So yeah. disturbing. 150 right. grand. Great work, Samantha. Appreciate Thanks it. so much for that. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.